say that it feels right. What's up, YouTube? Today is a huge day. Today is Halo's 15th anniversary. One more year till it can drive. But yeah, today is is huge for me, myself. Um, <laughs> so I got on to Master Chief Collection, wanted to play some Halo 1. This is what I got. This is my first game, as you can see. Uh... I didn't melee that guy, and you're going to see why I needed to change up. For some reason, I was on Green Thumb. I think my brother tried playing it, and he changed it up to how he wanted. And, uh, yeah, so I had to change it back to the Duke. God, do I love the Duke controller. I work at a retro video game store, and I see the Duke controller all the time. And that <laughs> I remember being seven years old when Halo 1 came out. I went over to my friend Zach's house, and we started playing Halo 1 uh, co-op. That controller was probably bigger than my head. Uh, it was very difficult to play as a seven-year-old, but it was great, and I loved it. I wouldn't trade anything for it. So yeah, we we ended up starting playing Halo as the co-op. We didn't know about multiplayer yet, uh, like competitive-esque, you would say. Um, we actually had played the... Halo 1 missions probably like 30 or 40 times. Ex over exaggerating, but we played it a lot. Uh, it was great. <laughs> so then we got like three three other guys at my friend Zach's house, so we started playing around and we all wanted to play at the same time. Then we went to see what Split Screen. We thought Split Screen was just playing uh, the co op, but with four guys. Nope! It ended up changing our lives. We started playing against each other on Blood Gulch. What a map to first start playing Halo on was Blood Gulch. The thing was huge. Back then, I really sucked at Halo. Some people are probably going to say, you still suck at Halo. Well, I was real bad. I couldn't get a kill. Um, I was... I was god-awful. The amount of cheeks that I was is just... your mama's size. I had to throw it in there just because it's an old joke. And, you know, I'll stop. Yeah, Halo is a huge, huge part of my life. I, I've been playing every Halo, or I've at least attempted, because Halo Wars, I'm not good at strategy games. I at least attempted to play every Halo <laughs> as much as I could. I have three different Halo 3 accounts, I think? Yeah. Uh, my highest level was like a 35 uh, in MLG. But I played solo, so I tell people that and they're like, that's actually not horrible for being a solo player. I played a lot. Halo 3 was probably my game. I played that so much. <laughs> we, uh, If you ever went to Catholic school, you know that once you go past 8th grade, you have this thing called an 8th grade graduation. I'm not even joking. We had 8th grade graduations. It's kind of dumb. But I don't know why they did it. But it was a good way to just have a bunch of friends over at the end of the year. So I actually had a LAN party with me and my friends. Well, I had like my family upstairs. It was great. We had two 24-inch TVs two Xbox 360s, and at least eight kids on at a time playing this really crappy Forge map that I made where it was like, maybe like, eh, 10 feet by 10 feet, like a box, and then oh, one team would spawn on one side, and you'd have to go up to one of three um, ramps, and then you'd meet them in the center, and then you would meet, them, meet the other team who had the same thing at the center, and we put on Fiesta type. And it was like a capture the flag. It was like Husky Raid before Husky Raid was a thing. And that was my game type, and I loved it. And we were playing like normal free for all, uh, Team Slayer, capture the flag. It was just a great day, and we we went on for hours. Halo has just always been around for me. I, I've gone through a lot of uh, issues in the past, and I've always kind of used it as my my tool to make me feel better, at least forget about things. Uh, 
when my grandma had passed away, I uh, it was my first time like a real close relative had ever passed away, and it really hit me hard because I was so close to my grandmother. I played Halo for 14 hours straight. I don't. The only time I left my room was to go to the bathroom. I really had no idea what to do. I couldn't play rugby. I couldn't. I, I couldn't go to practice. I just. I couldn't do anything. I, it, it, it was a big struggle for me to do anything. But so then I played Halo on a Saturday, uh, about about a week after everything had gone down. I played Halo for, like I said, 14 hours straight. My parents didn't bother me because they knew it was just something I needed to go through and, and on my own and, and figure things out. They tried to comfort me as much as possible, but Halo did something for me. I wasn't thinking about the good times or the bad times that would kind of make me sad. Halo just was there to help me distract myself from it, and uh, it was great. I, I played a lot of, I played Halo Reach, Halo 3, and it it made me feel better. I wasn't playing with friends, but I was still playing with people online and playing like I was racing or playing Griff Ball or something. Um, actually, another way Halo's helped me out was, funny enough, I was going to, uh, I love the double melee. I was going to the Halo Midnight release uh, last year and a girl on Harrowwood cut in front of me trying to turn into a parking lot and I wrecked my car. I had gone through some big mental issues with that. Uh, not sleeping, not eating kind of thing. Because uh, it, it wasn't feeling good. But I picked up Halo the next, the next afternoon. Played a lot of it. Actually, I... <laughs> I it was great. It, I, I know I keep saying it was great, but it was something I really needed. And Halo's always been there, no matter what. Whatever situation, it was... If my friends I couldn't get a hold of, as, as weird as it sound, Halo was kind of my friend because I had always met people online. I talked to them. I played with a lot of people on in the old school Halo 3 days. When, we, when my friends and I talk about the good old days of Xbox, we're talking about... Halo 3. I met a lot of friends. A lot, a couple of them I actually still, I still hang out with today. Uh, a couple of them actually play rugby with me in my uh, local men's team. A couple of them I, I don't talk to as much, or I should say most of them, because a lot of them were from a, across the country. I met a, a group of kids close to my age, all around high school age, and they were from the Pittsburgh area, and it was cool. It was, I had friends that I talked to every day who weren't from my area, and it was cool to talk to them about everything. And I got on. The kid's name actually was Colin as well, so that was pretty funny. I actually was friends with his friends, and we played a lot. It, <laughs> that's where I found out I wasn't too bad. It wasn't just my local friends that I was beating. I could beat some other people, guys in the higher rankings, and that's where I climbed up, like the Team Slayer stuff, because they never really wanted to play MLG, uh, they didn't like the MLG rules, but I loved them. Yeah, so we're coming to down to the end of this. I really didn't want to go off too much, I, I just didn't want to script this because Halo is just so unscripted for me because... I could talk about Halo and the good and all the days that I played it, the good, the bad. It's just great. It's just something that I, I hope everybody keeps playing. Um, as you see, game's about to end. Happy birthday, Halo! Love you. Stay strong.